Le Corbusier remains a historical figure, the greatest architect probably uh, of the 20th century, maybe arguably together with Frank Lloyd Wright. And he has left not only 75 buildings, 400 paintings, 45 books, and uh, much archival material, but also he has given us the figure of a modern architect. He was the first architect to have a global activity and to construct a worldwide uh, work. Le Corbusier was born under the name of Charles Edouard Jeanneret in La Chaux de Fonds, a Swiss city where half the world's watches, then pocket watches, were produced before 1914. So the city was small but had a worldwide range already. He was trained in the uh, School of Art to uh, observe landscape, to uh, draw watch cases, and his, uh, I would say that the precision of his lines that we see in the exhibition, in his many drawings, something that came out from his early training. It's clear that La Chaux de Fonds and even uh, cities like Munich or Vienna uh, or Zurich were too small for uh, the young man's ambitions. So Le Corbusier wanted to seduce Paris, wanted to build in Paris, wanted to situate his buildings against the backdrop of Paris' monuments and, and in the end wanted to reshape Paris completely according to his plans. So he pursued uh, the dream of rebuilding Paris as a totally rational crystalline city for decades, never succeeded, but nonetheless left very important structures throughout the city and the region. Uh, Le Corbusier started uh, moving around the world, around Europe in the late 20s. He made grand projects for Moscow and built its larger structure of the interwar period in Moscow. And then his trips to Latin America, to uh, North Africa and to the US um, produced extremely important and provocative projects that never succeeded. And it would be only in the 50s when uh, uh, Prime Minister Nehru of India asked him to build a new capital for the state of Punjab called Chandigarh that he was able to uh, conceive to draw an entire city. The city was built according to his urban plan. He made the capital which remained an extraordinary uh, combination of public buildings and probably the largest ensemble of all the ones he had designed and dreamed of during decades. The show here is very important for the complex relationship of the community in America. It is the largest show ever made in this country. There were many previous attempts, but they were to a certain extent uh, failures because on one hand a museum like MoMA was probably more interested in figures like Frank Lloyd Wright or Mies van der Rohe or Alvar Alto and also because after having lost several battles here in America, in particular the battle for the uh, uh, construction of the UN headquarters in the late 40s, Le Corbusier was vehemently anti-American at the end of his life. So the last 15 summers of his life he spent on the seashore in the small cabanon, in the small shack he built for himself, where he would, in a way, in his summer hermitage, uh, uh, make many projects, uh, write his last books and also die ultimately.